You see that? Sick fucking flip. So, heat a shield, like I was talking about. Same description and all that. You'll notice, 46. It's normally 30, so that's pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking kill cool, in it. Yeah, nah. Pretty good. Pretty grouse. Pretty right. So let's see. Ah, uh, no, we'd have to hit him to check, but... Okay, yeah, that bear bug will fuck up patches, so we won't be doing that. Why would we hurt patches? I just don't understand it, mate. Excuse me. Okay, I was getting confused about this. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking the lower path was... Well, this. For some reason. Yeah, that's clever. Right here. Now, the lizard ran down there. And he has not come back. I believe this is the nest. Having cloak would be great, but alas. Is this a nest? I don't know if it is. Oh, look. I think this might. I think this might be it. There's not a very secret nest if it is. Yeah, this is the this is this is the lizard nest, alright. He's making a run for it. He's coming around. Yeah, so uh having Wrath of the Gods or something, anything, will make this shit a lot more manageable. We're only gonna get one. I had to pick which one too. Fuck. That sucks. Yeah, Wrath of the Gods, apparently if you stand right in the middle, you can just fucking milk them all. These guys can drop pure, um, what is it, pure grey stone, I think, and some other pure stones. Yeah. Pretty handy. But as you can see, that nest is fucking hard. There is a reason I stay away from it on most playthroughs. Now, what's this? I don't actually know. There we go, pure heart zone, that'd be pure sharp, I suppose. I don't think we'll need the regen ring. There we go. Pure sharp. There we go. So let's have a look how heavy they are. Chunk of grey is four. Pure sharp is three. And how about pure hard is four as well. Yeah, so some heavy shit, eh? Some heavy stuff. Hibby. Not like hibby as in snake in, in the Nihongo. For Japanese. Japanese. The fuck is that from? That a... Hold on. Is that just... Uh, fucking cliff. This is a Ninja Turtles bullshit. Huh. No. No, that's all aesthetic. You can't get up there to my... Let's have a look. Now, the Elgato is even fucking darker, so I don't know if you guys would be able to see that. Doesn't appear to be anything. I think it's just someone made a lucky jump. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any little alcoves or whatever. Oh, well. So we've got a grand total of two lizards out of a nest of, like, a about ten or something. So I've a sad. So as you can see, I'm a rather competent person. Not really. Rightio, time to head up. Time to make the drop. And yeah. Alright, cool. So I'm fighting the boss with one ring. That's fine. Don't really need Thief anyway. It's not really particularly good for him. Unless you're doing the cheating bullshit, which we are not. So that, this is the way we have to go to get the drop. Would have done that first had of a known. Alas. Wait, what am I. Wait, what? Wait, no, no, this is it. What am I thinking? I just, I confused myself. It was the term table. That's what done it. Okay. What are you? Because I totally forget. Shot of grey. Alrighty. Time for a fall. Ow. You know what, fuck it. For the meantime, we don't need it anyway, so... Regen. No more lizards for the next little bit. Fucking's nailed it. Yo, Patches, what's up, my man? 
What's up, my do- Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Hoping I don't slide off into the fucking abyss over here. Whoa. That could have been bad. That could have been some surfing bullshit. Radio. Now, do I need to go back up? No. Um, what's back up? Yeah, nothing really, so I guess we'll just go this way. Silly me, I should be going down. <laughs> Can't believe myself. Oh, look. Hey, look at you little guys, look at you. Oh, they're fucking adorable. Holy shit. <laughs> I knew there'd be a flock of them, just wasn't expecting this. It's a, it's a cornucopia of Namekians over here. Let's just, uh, let's just ignore them. Look at him. Look at him. My little boy's all grown up. Time to head deeper. Into the inner sanctum. Of the bugs. Time to put the thief ring on in case there is a lizard around the corner I am not privy to. There are some the other way. Just not this way. Yeah, this shit's gonna get really confusing. Just gotta figure out where the... Where that spot is where you can see Dragon God. Where you can look through and see the boss by accident. Okay, that's that. Ah, there we go. That's one of the spots. You can see out of world, but you can't really see anything. Watch out. No, is this the other way? Yeah, this is it. So we gotta lure him if we can't kill him. Come on, Thaddy. Come on, Clive. The WA border's over here, mate. Don't you want to get in? Come on. Oh, this is more political sh shit, but I'm kind of shitting on someone every Australian hates. Fuck you, Clive Palmer, you fat piece of shit. Sue me for defamation. Fucking try. <laughs> You'd never sue Geordie, so I think you're all talking shit. Oh, look at him. He got confused. Duh. Look at the little guy. Adorable. So that's not a point of no return, thankfully. However, there are two ways. My heart's breaking. Oh, why is your heart breaking, mate? What's this? All guide of guidance. A villain lies in wait ahead. Do they? Do they really? Hmm. Or maybe we are the villains. Yeah, that's the drop. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. So we'll head the other way. Man, I should have looked, looked at the map I totally have. Got one up and everything. Hey, buddy. How you, uh, how you doing? Run or fight the creature. Yeah, so their needle protrusion will fucking hurt. And guess what? If you get hit in their explosion, caught in their explosion, I think you're pretty much fucking dead. Wait, is that his aggro range? Yeah, doesn't hurt that much, thankfully. Count on the roll catch, though. I'll swap to the mid and hammer after that. After this, I think it might be a little better. We've gone down to about half. I just want the magic to run out. You coming this way? Look at this slow encounter. Mr. X over here. Not sure if I have, but I was contemplating putting on the Nemesis music for the, uh... The classic Nemesis music for that one black phantom in the swamp. I think that's fitting. Okay, yeah. We're out. So let's have a look. Plus five meters and hammer. Alrighty. Cool. Alright, you. Yeah. That's about what I expected, unfortunately. Well, at least I have a greystone now, so I can start making strength-based versions of these if I want to. Hell, I got two men and hammers now, so nothing to fucking worry about. Hey, so yeah, we should get moving.
So those guys can drop pure. We're probably not getting it though. No, of course not. Chunk of Clearstone. Mm hmm. That's for if you come from behind, I believe. Whoa. Yeah, okay, that's about right. Uh, he's got the fucking lizards there. Ah, screw it, let's go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Bug's not gonna fucking two shot me. Hey, shit, Lord. Nice. Jukin and Jav. Alright, so we got three ways to go now. Rad. Is this the pit? We'll go that other way in a second. Let's have a look. This is getting blue. Makes me wonder what's ahead. Okay. Yeah, this place is one of those times I'd actually consider using the old guide of gardeners. Of, of guidance. Is this the boss? Yeah, it is dragon bones. That, that looks about it. Just gotta be careful not to drop. Well, that shit popped in. Right, so this is the bottom of that pit we looked in in the first place. Um, we'll go the other way. For the meantime, I gotta recover health. I'm gonna need it. Now, that cavern we saw was uh, fucking bright. Um, given where we are, I think you can put two and two together as what as to what might be causing that kind of lighting. Let's just double check. 186. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Mid hammer's still stronger. Claymore would have been handy, but fuck it. Yeah, stay mad. Stay mad, shit lord. Radio, so welcome to the part that could be like Izalif, I don't know. Um, let's just walk into level for one second. So if this is a Dark Souls 3 thing, where apparently holding your guard up will uh, make it so you don't die hor hor uh, horrifically immediately. Let's ho not hold a guard up and have a look. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it is very much Dark Souls 3 lava. I've never actually come out here, so this is interesting to have a look. Now there is apparently some pure dragon um, stone. I believe that's probably it up ahead. I don't know what this stuff's meant to be growing on the lava, but boy, does it look fucking rad. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, this was a mistake. Ah, uh, boy. I'd like to come- I'd like to get this, but... I might have to come back later. Because this shit's kind of rough. Let's see what this is. Renowned Hero Soul. So someone got fucking dead here. Someone got the big dead. Yep, and we're back. Ah, that's a shame. I really want to get some of that stuff, but... Yeah, I'd, I'd have to fight him too, because he's blocking the path, because he's a fuck. Oh well. That's a shame. I can always record it when I come back. Is this the right way? This is the back to one of them. Let's do a damage test. If, yeah, 32. Yeah, he's trying to hit, but he can't. 30. I think this might be easier because I can hit more frequently. Yeah, let's just do this. One handing is normally good for buff weapons. We want amount of hits. We want we, we want more hits, not stronger hits. That's how buff weapons typically work in these games. So we can pretty much just murk him before he can even turn around. He's getting there though. Aren't you quiet? Yeah, look at you. Yeah, if anyone's actually offended by that, um, I don't know why you would be. I don't know, I don't think there's a person that actually likes Clive Palmer. But Clive Palmer. Ah. Man, imagine, like, having someone who owns a lot of mining operations would want to get into politics um, and cut deals that would benefit his mining company. Strange. Uh, but then again, we're a non-political channel. You know, if, if you make game videos, whether it be music edits or, uh, or LPs, you know, you don't engage in politics. That's just, that's dumb. Why would you uh, want to be well-versed in, uh, you know, and have an opinion on things that affect you directly? Hmm. 
Anyway, am I right, Epic Gamers? Am I right? No? I'm good, I hope I'm not there, because that was sarcasm. Epic Gamers. Yeah, fucking hell, I hate that so much. Alright, now we're getting a little flip turned upside down. We might take several minutes and sit right there. We see for the walls a, a town named Bel Air. We're back at the entrance. Your bear bugs smell you later. I looked at my kingdom. Finally there. Um, bear bug of Bel Air. I don't fucking know. So that's not V spot we're in, I think. No, it doesn't look it. We'd see some items and we'd see some platforms to stand on. It's too deep in there anyway, couldn't be it. Hmm. 53 minutes just about. 52 and 24 seconds, to be exact. Yeah, I we're kind of just going in circles now, to be completely honest. Huh. We'll see if there's anything else I missed. And I don't think there is. Because, yeah, that'll be... But hurt bug over there. Yes, stay mad. There was that little ditch um, we could have dropped down into, but fuck it. It takes us to here anyway. Just a slightly different route. We'll pop the, the uh, thief ring back on. Oh, silver ghost. It didn't spook me, but seeing the uh, seeing that person made me a little nervous for a second. Just enough. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lizard there. He's a, he's a shit. He's a pain to get even from there. You look at that fucking drop. Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. There's a bunch of rock ones, but who gives a shit? You know, to uh, quote Lamb of God, who gives a fuck? Now, if I had 16 faith, I'd use these items, but, well, you know. Good grace home from the next foe. Yes, you will. The hands of God. Yeah, these guys just spew um, lava. They don't actually do anything different. You know what? Fuck this. It's a lot easier to run at than you think, but. Oh, fuck you. Welcome to Attack the Frame Rate. This might be a theme for the rest of this episode. Well, the episode following. I don't know if this will be the same part. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, these guys are shits. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Hey, fuck. <laughs> oh, what was I gonna call him? Like a fuck lord or something instead of shit lord? Ah, who knows. Greystone. Chunk of Grey. Grey's Anatomy. Show I never watched. Radio, so cool. I don't have the capacity to use these, but perfect. So, when I was talking about Ed and Baldwin lore, he's kind of tie into it. So here we have the Hands of God. Let's read the description, shall we? Hands of God. A fist weapon bearing God's name. There was once a strong man who slaughtered dragons with his bare hands. His godlike fist earned him the title of the legendary Big M. Fucking Chad. Yeah, so, one, two, actually, it's just a one. Sure you can! Not quite. That's not a sure you, but it's an uppercut. Same thing, punchy, punchy, parry. No two hand. Yeah, you might, have, you might notice we're fat rolling. Yeah, back step. So, the fist weapons. Main benefit is... These bad boys scale with faith. 16 and... Well, 19 16 required strength and faith, respectively. D&D. &D, dealing 50 magic damage... 50 physical and 70 magic damage plus scaling. So they're not half bad. They're slow. Yeah, they're slow, but... You know, of 4H. So they're actually kind of heavy. You know. Compared to what I was holding. Because I had this and this on. Uh, this and this on, after all. Um, what are we going to use? Guillotine axe, I suppose? I want a fast-hitting weapon. That yeah, seems about right, right. So, yeah. 
Big M. Legendary Badass. Slaughtered Dragons. It appears we have found the graveyard. The filthy man was talking about. I love that fucking name. So, why would I be talking about Ed and Baldwin? Well, you see, if you aggro Ed and Baldwin, they will fight you with one Fist of God each. Um, I'm not sure if Baldwin's line about Ed being tougher is true. I've never aggroed them for various reasons. E.g., um, well, you know, no upgrading after you want to fight them. So, you know, that might be a problem. Just putting it out there. So, yeah, um, it can be hinted based upon that. Well, it's hinted based upon that. It's up to us to look at that and go, huh, they could be related, couldn't they? To the legendary, Big M. They could be related to each other and related to M himself. And message disappeared, what the fuck, man? Why you gotta do this? Ah, there we go. Oh, so we missed that dragon longsword, man. It must have been in the one path I haven't gone. Blood stains ahead. Destruction, terror, and mayhem through this door. Radio. So before we venture in, I'm gonna fill up on spice. I'm also gonna go to the toilet if you don't mind, because I need a quick break yet again. And well, this guy's tough. This is the reason I've been putting off five. Um, sorry, two two for so long. Um, also, I'm going to need a sip of water. Metaphorically, and, well, water veil as well. Well, and, you know, literal water out of the cup. But anyway. See you back in a few moments. Then we're going to fight a cool-ass boss. And we are back. Now, I cut down even more on the grass before we even left. Um, as you can see, I brought a lot of full moon. He is the reason why. The gentleman we will find there. Now, I can't take this off. And here we go. I'll, look, it'll even say it. I think I've shown that before. But yeah, no dice. So, this regen ring, while well handy, can get stuffed right now. I would rather have some of this. Yeah, I think this is this is what I'm doing. We'll do this, and then I'll swap. So we're gonna cast Water Battle. And we're gonna cast the Champ Weapon. Okay, then we're gonna do this. Wrong thing. Great me. We're gonna take some of this. And then we're gonna put on the old spice. Alright, now I hope you're ready for one of the sickest bosses in the whole game. What? Once it loads? So he's gracious and gives you some time to approach. Let's go. So welcome to sm uh, Proto Smelter Demon. Okay, I'm doing good damage. That's nice. So you'll notice around the arena there are various dragon bones and there are some little bits of lava. So. A um, few lore points we can discuss. This can be... Being in this graveyard, you can take it as... Yeah, Flame Lurker here fucked up some dragons. Given what we found just before... Okay, good. It's not... It, thankfully, he can't do a gas coin OTG on the ground here. He's got some cool back steps. Based on where we find him and the fact that we found the Fist of Gods just before this... You know, you would be fair to assume perhaps he's related to the Big M. Um, some people have theorised perhaps he, this is what the Big M became. I don't know if it's true, but yeah. Yeah, as you can see, wow, he's fucking fast, isn't he? So let's put this back on. 
Yeah, so there's some items in this boss room. Looks pretty cool. There's a little trick you can do on some of the dragon bones around the arena where you can totally get them snagged. I remember um, upon watching his Oh My God hype video about the Sony presentation a week ago for me, recording this, Jim Sterling said this is how we beat him. As in using the little trick. I might be able to show it off, I don't know. But I want to fight him fairly. So, yeah, it's, um, Flame Lurker, you'll notice, is way more aggressive and fast-paced than any other boss in this whole game. Bar maybe one. No, sorry, bar one. There's only, there's only one other boss that is this kind of pace, and he is at the end of 1-4. Big surprise as to who that might be. So let's have a look. I don't think this is it. Let's have a look. No. We almost had it, actually. It's on the opposite side, so we're actually kind of stuck here. In a pretty precarious place. So I believe it's this. Yep, there we go. So this is how you troll flame lurker. I'm just gonna apply some goodies. Yeah, so he's got some sidesteps. Um, I was looking at... I was while we're fighting, I was noticing, like, his legs and all that. It makes me think, perhaps, um, at one point in development, he was intended for Shrine of Storms, and then they applied the melted fire look. Because if you look at his legs, it resembles the skeletons. This is something I've only just thought of now. I haven't had this previous there. But yeah, looking at the rest of his body, it doesn't really match. He's messed up. And also, if you think he's gotten more aggressive, yes, he totally has. He's a proto Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls 3 boss as well. He technically has a second phase. So I was gonna say, in some respects, he is reminding me of Gascoigne a little bit in, um, sorry, Gascoigne in his second form when he all, when he beasts out. But yeah, I think I've shown, I think I've given Flame Lurker a good show off here. I want to say time to end it, but I want to heal one more time before. We go for it. There we go. So he's done some of his big hits. I don't think he's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's done his biggest. So this is it. No, that's, that's it. He's done it a few times. Yeah, so he's got some big fucking bangs. Vegeta over here throwing out the big bang. We're missing him. Boy, I'm doing this justice. Um, doesn't quite have the same problem as Quaylag, where it's hard to determine the range of the hitbox. It's about the size it looks. So yeah, Waterfail helping out big time there. And that's that. See you, Big M. What a fucking champ. Yeah. Look at this place. Cool. Now, I wouldn't... <laughs> I don't know what I thought, mate. I don't know what I thought. Um, but what I was going to say is... I don't feel saying this is totally correct, so I've got to correct myself anyway. I feel like this environment is about the most typical-looking fantasy it gets. And even then, when you think about where we've been and where we've come through, and everywhere else in the game, it's still really different to a lot of other fantasy RPGs. Or action RPGs, whatever the fuck, doesn't matter. But yeah, we're in this giant graveyard of slaughtered dragons, fossilized, fused into the walls, and we come across this temple looking thing. Now, I've held off talking about the remake for various reasons. But, uh, I'm not alone in saying this, that, oh, there's the item that when I f first saw the redesign of um, Flame Lurker here, I was not filled with confidence. Um, yeah. The original version... Oh, we'll just stop talking for one sec. Red Hot Demon Soul. Let's have a quick look at that. And then I'll continue my thought. Yeah, same shit. Except that's a lie. It can't do any of those. We've got to give it to Ed. So let's leave. But yeah, seeing 
the original announcement version of Flame Lurker. Um, look, it's really unfair, but people have been saying it, but yeah, he looked like, I guess, a generic Diablo monster. I've never played Diablo, I've mentioned this before. The closest thing I've played is fucking Victor Vran, and that's kind of a ripoff. But something about it just looked very typical. And they've kind of restored some of it in uh, the new look he's got, in the redo of it, but yeah. We're going strength. Okay, we can wield that axe after this, that's for damn sure. Yeah, I'm happy they fixed it. They've made him look a little more melty. What people are guessing is, perhaps what's going to happen in the boss fight in the remake, the more you damage him, the more he's going to fall apart. Which honestly sounds about right. Like, you'll... Because he looks... Someone said he looks more like Magma Lurker than Flame Lurker. So I guess that's probably what's going to happen, but who knows. That's just pure speculation. And even then, that's not my own speculation. Yeah, I don't know. It's stuff like that that makes me think... Like, the remake's going to be good, I'm sure. Um, people were very positive about Shadow of Colossus being remade. And remade, I should say, rather. And, like, it didn't seem bad. I know a lot of people seem to have some issues with it. I've never played any version of Shadow of the Colossus, yeah. so I'm the least qualified to talk about it. But I remember people talking about some of the atmosphere being ruined due to the, um... The way the bloom was changed and the lighting was changed. Which, honestly, I can probably understand. So, the main thing that's making me nervous about the remake is when you look at screenshots and in the trailer shots of... Volatarian Palace, and on the way, like in the tutorial area, you saw at the start of the game, and the arena you fight Tower Knight in. I'm just gonna make this plus five. Cause fuck it. Um, yeah, it looks too. Well, Dark Souls 3, I guess. But nothing else in Dark Souls up until that point had really looked like a typical fantasy castle, and even then, Lothric Castle makes sense. It doesn't make sense this kind of bare-bones fortress would look like an opulent castle. Unless they're changing some stuff up, but even then, that makes me a little... little nervous if that's actually the way they're going. But look, I'm sure the game will be fine. Anyway, let's just see if he's got anything new to say. Inside, storm the nah, okay. Alright, well, we'll, um... We'll speak to Ed afterwards, but we got one more thing to do. Yeah, like, look... I've already said, like, last week when I was recording, but I'm not fucking getting a PS5 day one, there's no way. Even if I could, it's not worth it. Um, nice to know, though, that PS5, <laughs> PS5 games aren't going to be 125 or 120, and Demon Souls is the... It's the one, um, the one case, apparently, and I don't get it, that's kind of weird. But anyway... Enough of that. The Archstone of the Demon Flame Lurker. Since ancient times, a fire demon has been sealed in an underground temple filled with dragon bones. Deeper still lies an even larger dragon's skeleton. <laughs>